use different parts of our body to carry out different activities all through the day. Most parts of our body work together to help us do so. For example, when we write with our hands, our eyes make sure we write correctly. While our brain helps us understand what we are writing. Some parts of our body perform very important functions that keep us alive. These are called organs. The brain, heart and lungs are some organs of the body. Many organs work together to carry out special bodily functions and thus form organ systems. For example, the nose, windpipe and lungs perform the function of respiration, that is breathing. They form the respiratory system. The Skeletal System Just as a house is supported by concrete pillars and a tent has a pole to support it, our whole body is supported by a structure called the skeleton. All human beings have the same structure of bones. All the bones join together to form the skeleton. The skeleton is the framework which gives shape and support to our body. It helps us to move, gives muscles a place to attach themselves and protects the soft organs inside our body from injury. The skull protects the brain. The rib cage protects the heart and lungs. Bones and joints make up the skeletal system. There are 206 bones and around 100 joints in the body. Muscular system We have different muscles which make up the muscular system of our body. Muscles help us to move various parts of our body. We can control the actions of some muscles. These are known as voluntary muscles. Voluntary muscles are attached to bones. We do not have control over certain muscles, such as those of the heart and lungs, which work continuously and carry out very important functions. These muscles are known as involuntary muscles. The muscular system and the skeletal system work in coordination and enable us to move our body parts like fingers, hands, legs, tongue, eyelids, etc. The respiratory system The respiratory system consists of the nose, the windpipe and a pair of lungs. As you breathe in through your nose, air containing oxygen goes in. Through the windpipe, it reaches the lungs. The windpipe connects the nose to the lungs. The oxygen from the air is taken in for our bodily functions while the rest along with carbon dioxide is expelled through the nose. Healthy Breathing Habits Always breathe through the nose, not through the mouth. Do not cover face while sleeping. Always keep the windows of your house or classroom open for fresh air to come in. Always wear comfortable and not tight-fitting clothes so that you can breathe easily. The Digestive System 
Our body cannot use the food in the form we eat. It has to be broken down into simple substances. This process of changing the food into simpler substances is called digestion. The mouth, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus make the digestive system. Process of Digestion Mouth The process of digestion starts in the mouth. We chew the food with our teeth. As we do so, a juice is secreted in the mouth. This juice is called saliva. Saliva mixes with the food and makes it soft. The more you chew your food, the better it mixes with saliva. The food is partially digested here. After the food has been chewed properly, you swallow it. The food then passes through the food pipe or esophagus. The food pipe carries the food to the stomach. Stomach the stomach is like a muscular bag. The walls of the stomach secrete other digestive juices. These juices help to change the chewed food into simpler substances. From the stomach, the food goes into the small intestine. Small intestine. It is a long coil tube. Some more digestive juices mix with the food here, digesting it completely. The walls of the small intestine absorb the digested food and pass it on to the blood vessels. The blood vessels carry the digested food all over the body, supplying it with nutrition. Some parts of the food are not digested. This undigested food reaches the large intestine. Large intestine The walls of the large intestine absorb the water and the rest of the undigested food is released from the body through the anus. Waste food should leave the body, otherwise it will harm your health. That is why you should develop regular toilet habits. The circulatory system The circulatory system of our body is made up of the heart, blood and tube-like organs called blood vessels, arteries and veins. Your heart is the size of your fist. The heart is the main organ of the circulatory system and pumps blood to all parts of our body through blood vessels. The nervous system The nervous system is made up of the brain which is the control center. The spinal cord which connects the brain to the rest of the body and a network of nerves. One set of nerves carries messages from the sense organs to the brain. Another set of nerves carries messages from the brain to the muscles. We sense the world around us through our sensory organs. Let's see how. Our eyes help us to see our ears help us to hear. Our nose helps us to smell. Our tongue helps us to taste. And our skin helps us to feel heat, cold, pain and touch. The excretory system, the process by which 
unwanted harmful substances are eliminated from the body is called excretion. In human beings, the excretory system consists of a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, urinary bladder and urethra. Kidneys remove the waste products from the blood in the form of urine. Reproductive system This organ system helps in giving birth to babies.